Hey guys, JB here. Excited you're with us and welcome to the channel. It is more of a community than a channel and I'd love to hear your comments below as we talk about all kinds of different things here on the channel. But today we're getting into Kobo. This is my Kobo format. You know, I've loved this device. Uh, I love the form factor. You know, these smaller devices like this iPad mini that I'm that I'm experimenting with, I just like them because they, they just fit in your hand well. And uh, the Kobo format specifically feels like a book. It's just, it's just the size of a book and I've been a big fan of them. Well, today Today they announced they have two new devices coming out and I wanted to share with you uh, what they sent over. I do not have the devices yet. Today is just the announcement, but we could be looking forward to these devices from Kobo and we will discuss them. So the first one is the improved Kobo Libra H2O. Uh, it's packed for features, it says, uh, full waterproofing, um, it boasts hands-free reading and Kobo audiobooks with Bluetooth wireless technology, a seven inch uh, uh, ink, HD ink, card at 1200 glare free screen uh, it's got a light 32 gigs of storage uh, and then it is um, the next generation of their popular h2o you can get it in um, many colors white and black with array of colors um, for the the sleep covers are red lavender slate blue and black uh, so it's pretty interesting device uh, something that's pretty cool uh, again it's in this zone of the cobalt forma but what really excites me is this next device. This next device is the Kobo Sage. And you can see it here, the Kobo Sage is designed to inspire and boast every feature at your fingertips so you can have the most luxurious reading experience, right? Has Bluetooth wireless technology so you can listen to your audiobooks. Uh, top of the line features uh, and, and can include sleep covers, a power cover, and it also works with the Kobo stylus. So the thing that I think that's important to understand is you're going to be able to take notes on this. They are trying to compete with the Remarkable 2 a little bit with this device. Um, the Kobo Sage is our, uh, with our world uh, class designer, says it's an e-reader. Uh, it has an eight inch screen, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So if we look at the this screen here is seven, right? So then if we go eight, you're almost, uh, you know, the Remarkable is right there. You can see where it ends. So about an inch off the Remarkable, but the screen size is an eight inch screen. So the iPad mini, if we go this way is how much? It's about eight inches. So it's gonna be just a little bit bigger than this iPad mini, right? Uh, it says it's uh, an eight inch uh, ink card to a 1200 glare free screen. It's got a nice light on it, uh, 32 gigs of storage. And then of course uh, it comes in black only, but then the covers are light green, black, and a power cover in black. So you got an eight inch 1400 by 1920 re resolution, 300 PPI screen. Um, it's got a great display. And again, it's going to have a, the ability to take a notes on it. And I think that's the big thing um, is you can control the brightness, the blue light, um, you can go to dark mode, but the big thing is you're going to be able to do a couple things on this that you can't do uh, with, with other devices, which is take, with their other devices, which is listen to audiobooks and take notes. And that's what I'm interested in trying out. Can, what, how is this thing as a note taker, which is something I'm always interested in. But um, they're the first, one of the first uh, e-readers with Bluetooth wireless technology. So you can see there's some headphones here uh, and it's waterproof for up to 60 minutes. So if you wanna relax in, in the whirlpool or something and, and wanna take it with you, you can do that. Uh, so you got the Kobo audio books and you just play your Bluetooth headphones with it and you're good to go. And then they have some uh, sleep covers or the power cover um, and the compatible stylus. So the sleep covers and the power cover keeps your e-reader uh, luxuriously protected and the power cover delivers on the go charging if you need that. So you can just slip the Sage into its uh, power cover with the easy magnetic attachment and it'll be charged um, from that battery. The big thing is again, let's talk about this, is the Kobo stylus, which makes reading and marking up nonfiction reads, essays or assignments a breeze it's got the pressure sensitivity that mimic, mimics a ballpoint pen, and the stylus is completely customizable. Choose the pen type, shade, line, size, and eraser side that suits your needs. The Kobo stylus lets you write directly on the page just like a pen and paper. The Kobo Sage reacts to how much pressure you apply, so there's pressure sensitivity. Easy to erase or highlight with helpful buttons. You can underline, circle, highlight when an idea sparks you. Mark every ebook and PDF of your own and easily save, organize, and find your annotations. So being able to use your own PDF means 
that you're going to be able to make your notes. So you can access the limit, this library as always. And then of course, you can go to Kobo Sage or from your library, as I was saying, overdrive integration, which obviously only works in these countries here, Canada, the US, UK, but it really helps you save a lot of money by getting books uh, online from the local library. And again, I'm anxious to see this device. Uh, it just came out, so it's not out yet, but we just got the release today. I'm sorry, we could talk about it today at noon, but I think they're really gonna start challenging, trying this channel and challenge and move into the note-taking devices. I know they had a device come out earlier uh, this year, but this is really a direct kind of challenge now to uh, moving into the note-taking world. So Kobo, who does a really good job with e-readers, is now moving into the uh, note-taking world, which I find very, very interesting. So more coming. Just want to jump on the computer here real quick. Didn't use my good cameras. Just jumped on and used the computer's camera here, but wanted to get you a video, and we'll get you more as I get these devices in so we can test them against the other devices. Still doing the iPad uh, mini device um, challenge right now, and I've also got some news uh, from Paper, which we'll be announcing very soon. Quark Logic's got some big news coming. Get ready for that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, thanks so much for watching. And I'll be back with a lot more as we keep rocking this community more than a channel. Thank you so much. Go have a fantastic day.